In this short video, I'll be explaining how to install EMC Tools, the add-on, as well as the key map that I've included with it. This is a fresh install of Blender with no settings adjusted. If you already have settings adjusted, especially key map settings, I don't recommend installing the key map because it'll replace your custom set settings. You can switch back to the original settings whenever you want, but if you already have custom settings, I suggest you just edit the key map that comes with the add-on uh, instead of installing this new one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to edit, preferences, and then add-ons, and then install, and navigate to where we installed it. I put it on my desktop, and emctools.py. And now if you enable it, you'll see that there's a checklist. Now, these checkboxes don't do anything, but they will check for these add-ons, the included add-ons with Blender. Uh, so for example, none of them are enabled by default, but if we go to Loop Tools and enable that, and go back to EMC Tools, refresh it, you'll see that it's enabled. So this is just telling you what add-ons to enable. So let's go through the list. Okay, and now we have all of those enabled. This is optional. Uh, you can just not install it and the add-on would work perfectly fine, but the experience of retopologizing is much nicer with this add-on. This is a third-party add-on, which is why it's optional. You would have to go to GitHub and download it. So now that we have all these add-ons enabled, let's go to key map. And like I said, if you already have custom key maps, you don't have to do this. Uh, technically, you don't even have to do this if you don't have custom key maps, but um, it's a much nicer experience, especially if uh, you're transitioning from Maya to Blender. It's just a plug and play solution, basically. Um, let's navigate here, and this is the industry key map. See, it, it has to be in the key map uh, tab. Once we have it installed, we can see that there it is. And this is essentially just the industry compatible key map, but adjust it slightly to work with my add-on perfectly. And now after this, you don't really have to do anything. Uh, Blender should be um, working just like Maya now. So for example, Alt, left click is this. Selecting with left click, which is the default now of Blender. Um, hold right click and move the mouse and you get this menu. And you can go to vertex, edge and face modes. You can hold shift, right click and smooth faces. It's, it's all just like in Maya. Uh, what is also the same as Maya is, and this only comes with this key map in specific, you can set it up um, without this key map as well. Uh, by default, this is assigned to Control shift v but in the industry compatible key map that I included, uh, it is set to 1, 2, and 3. So if you click 1, it's not going to do anything, but it's going to add a subdivision surface modifier. Uh, and if there's already one, it will disable it, or actually more than one. It works on all of subdivision surface modifiers on the ad, on the object. Um, two will enable it with the cage disabled, and well, with the what's it called? Yeah, cage. The cage disabled in edit mode, and uh, three is just all visible, including the cage in edit mode. And so this should work much like in, uh, in Maya. And so that's it. I hope you enjoy using the sound on. See ya.